Cloning is the process of generating a genetically identical copy of a cell or an organism. Humans are very weird creatures. The ability of their minds and imaginative skills are so wide and powerful. Cloning and artificial intelligence are two concepts they came up with to replicate humans. Cloning to replicate the body and the DNA structure, and AI replicates the human brain. In today's video, we are talking about clones, human clones, close, humanoid clones. They exist, and we are about to expose you to the most successful humanoid female robots that ever made it to the public eye. Have you watched the series Round the Twist? One of my favorites is the old Round the Twist episode, where Linda finds a cloning device, clones herself, and wins a race. If you let your imagination run wild, there are so many uses if you can have a clone yourself. And on the same hand, there will be a lot of problems and confusion as well. Why do people even think about cloning themselves? Well, it is mostly for medical reasons. Imagine the original you or the real you getting into an accident and needing an organ implant or emergency blood transfusion. The best choice would be something similar to your blood type. When you have a clone, the problem is automatically solved. If you go deeper in your imagination, or as we see in movies or series, we could create clones with some enhancements. Put it into hibernation or cold sleep and transfer your mind when your body is old and weak. That way you can live longer and accomplish more. Or that's how the story goes until the clone becomes self-aware and kills the original one or either refuses or runs away. You know that even with the highest advancements AI or robots still follow commands. People still haven't unlocked the secret to giving AI the whole control of the thinking and decision-making process, or they are not doing it based on safety purposes. But unlike AI, clones will a replica of a human body, which means the clone will also have the same brain functions and thoughts as the original one. Not to mention if the original body has a genetic disease, the clone will have the same. We can't be sure, but there is a chance for that to happen since the clone is a genetically identical copy. As I said before, humans can be very weird. They came up with the idea to create humanoid robot clones. So, these clones will have a mechanical body and the same appearance as an existing human being. Let's talk about them because why not? So, how close are these clones to their human versions? You are about to find that out. For more interesting topics like these, click that subscribe button and stay updated with us. My number one choice is Bina48. Bina48 is a social robot based on a real human named Bina Aspen. If you put those two together in one room and ask them to stay still, you can't tell that the humanoid clone is a robot. She would look like Bina Aspen's twin. The skin color, texture, and facial structure are the same. A bit more modification, and she would look like the 100% exact copy of Bean Aspen. But I read the humanoid clone around 60% of success, because the moment Bina48 starts talking, even a child can tell she is a robot. Her lip movements, facial muscle movements, and eye movements, well, to keep it simple, it looks more robotic than human. Oh, I almost forgot, in case you're wondering if a successful human clone exists on Earth, the answer is no. Cloning human embryos has been possible for nearly nine years. There is a record saying that a human clone was born and they named her Eve. But there is no evidence or the following story of that baby. My only assumption is that scientists are still incapable of fully cloning a human from embryos or creating an exact copy. People can do partial cloning though, like human voice. Your voice can be cloned in five seconds, but a full human is another level. You can't exactly 3D print another human with consciousness now, can you? The technology is not there yet. Plus, there are some serious ethical and law issues regarding human cloning. That's a topic for another time. If you're interested, let me know in the comments. All right, let's get back to our female robot clone list. Whitney Cummings. This is a video of her and her clone. Wow, can scientists create robots with that much similarity? Well, no. This is her with her doppelganger. The other person in this video is Tillman, a Pilates instructor in Portland. Well, this incident might have given Whitney an idea. She shows up for a Netflix stand-up special named Can I Touch It? 
she didn't come alone. She brought a clone with her. An actual female robot clone with the same clothes and a very similar face replica. She jokes about how straightforward her clone is and how convenient that she can step up and talk. The clone couldn't walk, but could respond in a very sarcastic way. Her clone addressed the audience saying, Hey hookers. Cummings shares the stage with an ultra-modern version of one of the most outdated comedy props imaginable. The ventriloquist dummy, a laughing, talking sex robot that looks just like her. Next up on the exposed list is Mark One. The creator says that he wasn't going after to perfect the same look as Scarlett Johansson. The designer is 42 years old graphic designer named Ricky Ma, and he lives in Hong Kong. It has been his childhood dream to create a robot from the scratch. So, most of the construction was done on the patio of his house. The life-sized humanoid female clone is made from a 3D printed skeleton wrapped in silicone skin and features a face and color tracking eyes. The robot responds to pre-programmed verbal commands spoken into a microphone. There were many obstacles for him. That includes other people's stink eyes and negative comments. However, he is happy and content with his creation. He believes that the future market for humanoids will rise. People would use their clones to do grocery shopping, do household chores, walk their dogs, and so and so. I figure I should just do it when the timing is right and realize my dream. If I realize my dream, I will have no regrets in life," said Ma in an interview with Reuters. You might wonder sometimes why even people want a clone of themselves. Would you believe it if I say there was a robot clone summit held in Japan? As advanced as it was, it was a little bit spooky. Meet the Geminoids Kyoto took on a sci-fi tinge recently when the Geminoid clan had a family reunion. They'd rouch as robots. They were robot clones created by Advanced Telecommunications Research Institute International Adder. I don't know how you would feel, but staring at three people and very eerie looking three clones that look the same is very creepy for me. These three clones are named Geminoid F. Geminoid HI-1 and Geminoid DK. ATR has been developing the air servo-powered doppelgangers since 2006. This female robot clone is called Geminoid F, and it was based on a female model from an entertainment agency named Kokoro. Geminoid HI-1 is the copy of leading professor Hiroshi Ishiguro, and Geminoid DK is a copy of Danish professor Henrik Scharf. When Scharf ordered his Geminoid DK bot from Kokoro, the price tag was around $200,000. Doesn't really fit our budget, right? It automatically breathes and blinks for a more lifelike effect. It begins to feel very natural to operate it, Scharf tweeted. Really like a natural extension of my first body. Well, I'm not sure what is the exact purpose of these robot clones to them. But let's hope these innovations or technological advancements will carry on and do not become a personal obsession or something concerning. That marks the end of our female robot clone list. But we have another exposed secret. Do you remember when Arnold Schwarzenegger sued a Russian robot making company for $10 million over the use of his likeness in one of their products without permission? That Russian company is Promolog. They have held a small event to randomly pick a person to be copied. The company makes a 3D model of the winner's face and body, and the person chosen will need to dictate more than 100 hours of speech to produce a synthetic version, capable of saying anything Promobot's clients wish. The robot based on the chosen person's appearance and voice will then start appearing in 2023. Promobot explained in a press release, the company is ready to pay out $200,000 to somebody willing to transfer the rights to use one's face forever. That's a very high stake for a company. As weird as it is, I'm hyped to know what they have planned for the future. What about you? Let us know in the comment section. See you next time with another video.